just let you know. How no, because he didn't get green. <laughs> <laughs> December 12th, public hearing was held by the Mayor and Commissioners on the 21st and at that time was introduced. The nice, uh, was presented to the board for adoption. This relates to the zoning ordinance with respect to signs and uh, as the board recalls, the, the, uh, the, uh, state, the uh, area of the sign was increased and uh, for projected signs in the town center zone and um, I, I recommend that the board adopt this ordinance at this time. We have a motion to accept ordinance 10-2016. Um, it's presented for adoption. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion on this ordinance? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Motion carries. Next ordinance is for introduction, ordinance 3-2017. Uh, uh, <clears throat> This is a minor change to an existing ordinance that provides for the um, parking lot at 117, 119 that we just completed. It was previously, previously designated as 107 North Street, which technically it isn't, and it has a proper address of 117 and 119. So this ordinance uh, deletes the reference to 107 North Street and, and adjusts it to 117, 119 West Main Street parking lot the amount of, of, of uh, parking three hours, eight to four, Monday through Friday remain the same. No other changes to that ordinance. I recommend the board accept it for introduction. Uh, I'd like to have a, a motion to accept uh, for introduction ordinance 3-2017. So moved. We have a motion. 
in a second. Any discussion? Uh, the only discussion I want to make the board aware of, and I think we probably all saw the emails that were sent to us, that we had our first uh, person that used the electric meters yes, Saturday. So we've got yeah. we've got uh, two charging stations down there. We had our first customer, and and I'd like to make a comment. There's there's actually five parking spots down there. I think designated there is four. Now the way that the Actually, pump it should board, be two and two. Yes. The only four. Well, the the one in the middle. That's that's so I waiting to. You know. Okay. Well, I think that that could probably be designated as general parking. Yes, it could be. It could be. So I just wanted you to take a look at that because it seems like a wasted spot since there's no opportunity to pump it. You can make that. Uh, it was down there this morning, and that center center one could be delineated as a river space. I'm very good. Take care of that. Any other discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Uh, motion carries. Okay, I'm actually uh, pretty quiet. We have, I think the board received an email in regards to our uh, community uh, uh, brochure that we've been sending out. Uh, we have, uh, we're actually on 2017 edition. It'll be, well, it'll be our, our third edition of the community guide. And so if any members of the board have any additional information, I see you responded to, to Cheney, uh, please get that out uh, to her. I think we have till the 19th to make changes. Uh, but one of the positive things of the community guide after talking with Parks and Rec was that the response of the participation into our programs have really gone up since we did the community guide. Uh, they were using, we were using the money that we had for the mailings of the parks and rec programs. And it was just the, the, the program by itself. But now the participation has gone up since we've included it into the community guide, which is great. Um, so I'll, I'm gonna try to uh, uh, have a few changes. I think we need to tweak it, maybe change the photographs for the 2017 edition. And maybe if there's something we can come up with uh, that leads into the spring season. But other than that, William, I, I, I think it was a very uneventful uh, New Year's uh, here in the town of Elton. And uh, one of the things, and I, and I kind of knock on wood when I say this, uh, uh, we haven't got to our statistics yet. And I see Captain Zarillo is filling in for the chief tonight. We haven't got our crime statistics for 2016. We feel that maybe they were trending on the downside, which we're very, very proud of, the way that we've saturated these areas. But the one thing that I can say is we had zero homicides in the town of Elton in 2016. That's huge. That is huge. We've actually a 400% decrease. We had four homicides in 2015. So we went to zero in 2016. and. Uh, just great news. Uh, let's hope that we can keep that trend in 2017, and maybe uh, we won't see all these uh, 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 sites on the internet about uh, being at such a dangerous place to be part of. Then. And I think these statistics, uh, this is a game changer for us. The, the other uh, thing I wanted to mention to the board is I sent an email out, and, and uh, I'd like to uh, have another public meeting on January the 25th at noon, and it's uh, for uh, economic development. As soon as we open the meeting, we're gonna close the meeting, and it will not be open to the public, but we have to have an open meeting uh, initially, but we're gonna have a presentation from uh, a possible prospect of new business to the town of Elton, and uh, they wanna make that presentation. So it uh, uh, would be, uh, I'm asking the board to uh, uh, be here for noon on January 25th. We're gonna make it at noon. And, uh, uh, but we'll have a regular meeting, we'll open it up, and then we'll close it immediately. And then uh, we will not reconvene, but we'd have to advertise it as a open meeting, and then we can close it immediately. But uh, we've got some great things gonna happen in 2017. And I'm very, very excited about it. Uh, now, will we have a, will we have a workshop on the 11th? We do. We have a workshop on the 11th, and, and thank you for bringing that up. Uh, just to 
On the 11th, we've actually got Ferguson, Ferguson Woodward Works. Ferguson Woodward Works uh, they're one of the other vendors in regards to another smart meter. So we'll have our second presentation uh, on the smart meters. Uh, then the first meeting in February, I think we have budget items. Who do we have scheduled for? Well, we, we have the uh, one, two. We do have budget workshops. Yeah, yeah I, 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 I actually yeah. Meant, mentioned it to the uh, department heads the other day. So we want to have those starting in February. We know our two, the two reports that I've seen a little bit of information on, but we want to make it available to, to the whole board and and to the residents of the town of Elton. So let's try to get the police on board and public works are our two biggest ones. We'll get this uh, firmed up so we can get that going. We get to determine that tax rate. So that's really all I have. Uh, Jean, do you have anything this evening? No, the only thing I have, uh, Steve. Yeah. The, from the comptroller, when they when we have those um, income tax revenue overpayment, the, on the very the second page it says documentation which summarizes the audit process and findings is currently being compiled. Have we got that yet? No, I don't have the documentation on it. Huh? No, I don't have any documentation. I got, but uh, before the letter, I received a call from the uh, comptroller's office and they explained what was going on. And um, I think the letter fairly clearly spells out the, oh, repayment, yeah. the repayment terms and the amount. Yeah, that's not what I was interested in. Though. It was it was the very last uh, thing stating um, their finding. I, I'm just curious, like if they're going to put out another report that really delineates. Well, what happened? I'll let the detailer give them, that would then give them people's personal income tax returns. And so that's that basically all it was. Not all it was, like it's a little event, but it was a, this designation of being in town versus not being in town and their software that the state was using to process the tax returns right. now, I mean, wasn't tuned to the point where it could correctly identify those identify themselves as being in town versus not being in town. Right. It didn't change anybody's tax liability, but what the town got was in fact that amount was owed to the county. No, no. But I mean, I guess in, in my mind, if they can be incorrect over here, how do we know that they're doing it correctly? Well, we, we don't see personal tax returns, so uh, they, they, they explain, uh, I don't know if it was in a letter or if it, if it was on the telephone conversation, they've got different software now that would be uh, just more accurate and and identifying properties as being in town versus not being in town. Yeah, I mean, when it says documentation that summarizes the audit process and findings will be made available, I just thought maybe something we'll else it. Was yeah, we'll coming. We can see what they we'll did request it. Because they probably won't send it to us unless we request it. I was it. just curious, what is it and yeah. when are we getting it? Sure. Or did we? So that's that's all they have. I think it's a great suggestion. Thank Let's you. Let's request it. Thank you. Yeah. Well, you really have nothing to report. Good. Thank you. Mary Jo? Um, I don't have anything either. Very good. Well, this is the time of the meeting we open up the floor for anyone that has anything to say this evening. Seeing none, it is 7-13. This meeting is adjourned. This is better than the last one. I know. I know. I know. I know. I Now seven eleven.